Today on our 2010 Nissan Murano, we're going to take a look at and then show you how to install the Curt Custom Fit Class 3 trailer hitch receiver. This offers the 2 inch by 2 inch opening. Its part number is 13577. Here's what the hitch is going to look like installed. As you can see, we've got our cross tube that's going to run across the back of the vehicle here, right in the center, what we wanted the 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening. Reinforcement of collar is going to be around the end of it. And it kind of has that flush front look that Kurt does really well. Gives it a nice clean look. Some of the other ones have more of like a rounded look to them. Now this is going to sit just underneath the bumper. So if you bring your hand straight up, it's going to meet about right in here somewhere. And we won't have to worry about making contact with our legs or anything like that. Offers the 5 8 diameter pinhole. That's the pinhole we're going to use for securing all of our gear. You can use a pin and clip. You can use anti-rattle devices, lots of things out there. Uh, just make sure it's class three rated, just like the hitch. We've got our safety chain connection points here. It's a plate steel style. Pretty good size. Should be able to get whatever connected there that we'd want to as far as hooks or carabiners and different things of that nature. Now the hitch itself is gonna offer a 400 pound tongue weight rating. It's the maximum downward force we can put here at the receiver tube opening. And it's gonna give us a 4,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. It's going to be the total of our trailer and then anything that we've got loaded up on it. Now, of course, we do want to look into the owner's manual on the Murano, see what it's rated for, and then we'll go off of whichever of those numbers are going to be the lowest. The first step we're going to do here for our install is to lower our exhaust down. We're going to have four exhaust hangers. We've got one here in the back corner, one just up in front of that, right above the pipe. We've got one located on the opposite side, right up here just in front of that tailpipe section. And then there's going to be one right here in the middle. Now it's going to be a good idea to get a small strap to put underneath there and give our exhaust some support. Then we're going to use a little bit of spray lubricant here, kind of help us as we slide these hangers off. Sometimes you can pull these off with your hands. Sometimes you'll have to use a pry bar or a screwdriver. Now for the one on the outside here, it's a good idea to just give our exhaust a slight pull over toward our passenger side and then try to pry in from the back side of it. And we'll just let that come down a little bit and rest on our strap. And we can look right above there. On the passenger side, we're going to have our two mounting locations, one here and one here. Then over on the driver's side, same mounting locations here and here. But as you can see, our tow hook's on the, in the way. So we'll have to take out those two bolts as well as the two here that go into the frame. All right, now we can just return our hardware and our bracket to the vehicle or the customer. Now, if need be, we can take a, a tap and clean out the threads here. Just depending on the age of the vehicle, you may need to. This is an M12 by 125 tap. You can also use a nylon tube brush. We offer those on our website. Now we can grab our hitch. We want to grab one of our M12 bolts and one of our conical tooth washer. Now the teeth on that washer, we want that to face up towards the hitch, just like that. And we'll wiggle our hitch up and in there. And then we're just going to start our bolt into the weld nuts that we cleaned out. Once we've got one started there, good. We'll get one started here on the other side. Alright, and that'll support itself while we grab our other two bolts and get those started, then we'll snug them down. Alright, then just take a quick look to be sure you've got your hitch centered there. Now we grab one of the four bolts that we had from our tie down bracket. That's going to get threaded back into the forward hole location there. And we'll look in our instructions, find our torque specs, and we'll torque it down, as well as our other core down to the appropriate specification. 
All right, with everything torqued down there, we can get our exhaust hangers put back into position. Get our strap out of the way here and our hitch is ready for use. With our exhaust back in place, that completes today's installation of the Kurt Custom Fit Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number 13577 on our 2010 Nissan Murano.